Before we configure the copier for scanning, the first prerequisite is a scan user account that has a password. Let's get started by creating a user account. The easiest way to create a user is to go to Start and then right click on Computer and then go to Manage. The shield beside Manage indicates it requires administrative rights. If an error appears after clicking Manage, IT support will be needed. This brings up the Computer Management section within which local users can be created. Inside Computer Management, expand the Local Users node, right click on User, and add a new user. The user will need a name that describes what the function of the user is, and a password, which satisfies your corporate password requirements. Retype the password and uncheck the user must change password at next login. And also check user cannot change passwords so that it always remains the same. And then check password never expires. Then to finalize, click create. And this will finalize the process of creating the user. The next prerequisite for SMB scanning is a scan folder shared out with full permissions to the scan user. The folder can be created in the destination of choice. For this example, the desktop was used. The folder can have any name, though we recommend a really simple name. In this case, we'll use the word scans. To assign permissions, right click on the folder and go to properties. In properties, go to sharing and click on advanced sharing. This is where the advanced permissions are. Click Share this folder, then click Permissions, and in Permissions, click Add. Next, we click Locations. The computer that you're working on should be at the top of the list. Now we click OK, and then type the name of the user that we created. Now click Check Names, and the name will be verified. Click OK, and then assign full permissions. Click Apply and then click OK. Again, click Apply and then OK. Now we go to the Security tab. We click Edit, then we click Add. Clicking on the locations, the computer that you're working on is at the top of the list again. Click on it and then click OK. Type in the name of the user account. Click Check Names to populate back to Windows and click OK. Assign the user permissions. Modify is the minimum security level for scanning. Click Apply and OK, then click Close. The final prerequisite is capturing the IP address of the scan destination computer. The easiest way to capture the IP address is to go to Start, Control Panel, and then go to Network and Sharing Center. In the Networking and Sharing Center, click on the adapter and then click Details. The IPv4 address is the address needed for scanning. Now that all the prerequisites are created, let's configure the Xerox multifunction device. To access the web page, type the IP address of the Xerox device in the address bar of a web browser, such as Firefox. Click on the Scan tab, and enter a template name. The template name is what is going to show on the front panel of the copier. Click Enter a Scan Destination, then type in a friendly name. The friendly name indicates the computer the scans are going to be going to. The protocol is SMB, and the IP address is the address of the scan destination computer. The share name is the name of the folder as we shared it out earlier. The port number is 445 by default, but we can change it to 139 if NetBIOS is in place. Stored in template signifies that the credentials are going to be sent by the copier. The login name is the username. The password is the password associated with the user we created. We then need to retype the password. Save job logs. This will create an extra file that can be used when configuring templates remotely. We will recommend that this is unchecked, unless you are using it for this purpose. Click Add, and the template will add to the machine. Congratulations. At this point, workflow scanning is fully configured, and the last step is to perform a scan. At the Xerox multifunction device, press the Services Home button, and on the screen, you'll want to select the workflow scanning service. This will then display all of the templates on the device. In the list, locate the template that was created and select it. Then press the Start button to begin the scanning process. If any problems arise with scanning, we can troubleshoot by going to the Xerox Online Support Assistant. 
To access the online support assistant, open a web browser and type www.xerox.ca in the address bar. Click Support and Drivers, and click Support and Drivers. Then search for the model. In this case, we use the 7970. Then go to the support page for that model. This will bring up a search query where we can search for a solution such as set up SMB scanning. This concludes the SMB scanning to Windows 7 setup. We hope that you found this useful.